My Nick Cruz. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. His opponent better react right now before it's too late. He's going to start to attack the triangle choke. to finish your position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch. going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to his feet. Just misses with the jab there. O'Malley going for the takedown, but unable to land. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for the all-time great Dominic Cruz. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but gotta think at some point there's gonna be some blood. You gotta be so close to fight and throw this many elbows. Oh. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guards. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He just, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Now goes in and secures the takedown. A nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, oh nice knee. big knee. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the big right hand. 
Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. Usher jabs. I mean, oh. and then the right to close the combination. Oh, he got it back. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this. More of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left hook there. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Outstanding output on both sides. An uppercut landed. The knee to the body. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! He blocked the punch. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Diving punch. Fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors. Final round, you ready? Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. That's a big strike right there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, he has certainly failed. Wow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real nice body. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO.